channel. For everyone who's new, I'm Bobby Gambosa. Today, I'm gonna share with you my secret New Year's Eve and Christmas recipe to make everybody happy. <laughs> So guys, don't miss it! And before continuing with the recipe, if you like my videos and you want to receive more videos recipes in the future, please subscribe and ring the bell so you can receive all my video notifications. And now, let's prepare the recipe! For today's delicious recipe, we are gonna need one medium onion, one carrot, one celery stalk, 150 grams of shiitake mushrooms or brown mushrooms, 100 grams of soy granulate, one cup and a half of breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of grounded flax seeds. We are gonna need herbs and spices, paprika, black pepper, thyme, rosemary, nutmeg, and garlic, some fresh parsley, half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of beetroot powder and one teaspoon of salt. As first step, we are gonna rehydrate the soy granules. Pour the soy granules into a bowl and add one liter of lukewarm water and leave it aside for 20 minutes. For everyone who doesn't know what soy granules are, they are a plant-based meat alternative, so meat substitute, and they are made of soy, of course. Meanwhile, we are gonna clean and chop the vegetables. We are gonna start with the onion, clean and chop it, and then we are gonna chop the carrot, the celery stalk, the shiitake mushrooms, or if you don't have shiitake at home, you can use also brown mushrooms, button mushrooms, and at the end also some fresh parsley. Just keep in mind that for this meatloaf, vegan meatloaf, we need to finally chop the veggies. When the veggies are chopped and ready, we are gonna take a big non-stick pan and we are gonna add four tablespoons of olive oil and we are gonna saute the veggies. After stirring and mixing for five minutes, we are gonna add some salt and all the herbs and spices that we have prepared before. We are gonna mix everything well together so the herbs and spices are well mixed with the other vegetables. And at the end, I'm gonna add a splash of white wine the wine usually is used to enhance the flavors of the spices and we need to cook it for another one minute so the alcohol that was into the wine it will evaporate. Then we are going to prepare the flax egg. Add to the two tablespoons of grounded flax seeds six tablespoons of water and here we go, mix it and we have the flax egg. Take a big mixing bowl and add the hydrated soy granules. Just keep in mind, sieve them well and squeeze them a little so they don't have water inside. Then add the sorted vegetables and all the other ingredients, the cornstarch, the nutritional yeast, the breadcrumbs the beetroot powder the beetroot powder we use it to give some color to this loaf if you don't have the powder use half fresh beetroot grated then some baking soda 
baking soda it will help to keep moist this loaf and the flax egg which serves as an egg substitute and will bind together all the ingredients very well then mix it first with a spoon then use your hands to further knead the mixture just mix it very gently until there are no clumps and all the ingredients are well combined like in here and it takes a shape very easily then prepare two sheets of aluminium foil we are gonna bake the loaf inside the aluminium foil so this way it will retain the moisture inside and we are gonna sprinkle some herbs and spices into the foil I will sprinkle some salt flakes and dried red berries then some rosemary some chili flakes and some breadcrumbs but you at home can sprinkle other spices and herbs whatever you like the most then we are gonna shape the loaf with our hands of course <laughs> and then we are gonna roll it into the sprinkled herbs and spices and the loaf it will create a coat with the herbs and spices a fantastic and incredible tasty coat <laughs> then we are gonna pour some olive oil and we are gonna top the loaf with some bay leaves the bay leaves gives really an incredible flavor to the loaf I highly recommend to put some on top of your loaf it looks amazing incredible we are gonna cover it we are gonna close both aluminium foils from both sides and we are gonna take a baking tray put it in the baking tray and bake it in a preheated oven to 200 degrees celsius 395 fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes after baking for 30 minutes we will open the foil pour some olive oil and rebake it again for 15 minutes doing so we will have a crunchy baked coating on the outside and a tender and moist loaf on the inside and this is how it's gonna look after baking it's fantastic and the perfect side dish for this loaf are of course the oven roasted potatoes if you want a very good recipe for oven roast potatoes have a look at my video here in the link it looks amazing I'm gonna serve it with some white wine gravy sauce which is very delicate and top it with some pomegranate seeds to enhance the flavor This is a very comforting and rich dish. Enjoy it. I hope you really enjoyed this wonderful Christmas dinner recipe. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.